Hey. Hey. So, uh, we can't meet at my house, can't meet at your house, we have to meet here in a parking lot. Hey, look, man, they know where we live. Get jumped anywhere. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's all like that. Look. What are you talking about? You're not talking to me. You haven't returned my text messages, you haven't returned my phone calls. Ever since you got hurt, you have been so distant, and and I've been reaching out, reaching out, and nothing. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, you show up. Larry shows up. Hey, it was great, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was great, but dude, I, I had no idea. You know, why, why could you not let me know? Look, first of all, let me say this. I appreciate the fact that you and Valentine and Draven, that you all ran in and helped Larry and I when we were down there. Appreciate it. This is what we're supposed to do. We're brothers, right? Absolutely. So the thing is, you know, when I was laying in that hospital bed, my career pretty well over because they didn't think they could save my kidney. Robert Wright sitting there laughing at me. Man, I just, I just couldn't take it. And I... I knew if I involved you, you'd try and stop me. And I gotta, I gotta get out of man. I got, I've got to do this. Okay. I gotta do this for me. I gotta, I gotta know that I still got it. That I can still go. That I can, that I can stand up for myself. All right. Look, this, this, this is about them, but it's not just about them, and it's not just about you. Okay. There's, there's some issues going on right here, and this isn't us standing here in character. Okay, Jim. I'm talking to you personally okay this is you and i i mean obviously christ where are we we're in a parking lot all right i need to know are we still together are we still buddies because again you're not talking to me what more do i need to say i called you my brother right in the ring and my cousin standing two feet away you didn't speak yet your cousin where did he come from and how did this come about? Look, I wish I knew, all right? I haven't seen Corey in 10 years. He wasn't there when my dad got sick. He wasn't there when my dad died. Family hates him. I, honest to God, I don't know what to tell you. Right. Where the chairman found him, I have no idea. Last I knew, he was rotting in some prison somewhere. All right. Well, here's the thing, all right? You're talking about you, 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 you. It's not just about you. You cannot make this about you because what's going to happen? You're going to go, you're going to get yourself caught up, you may possibly get hurt, you may possibly never be around, okay? You might get it all hurt. So, you have to think long and hard. Whole picture, not tunnel vision. And 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 and, and I have another question. You, you, you put this team together, right, for, for November Rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, 10 on 10 elimination tag match. Yeah. Okay? You named it Team Cross. Well, yeah. All right, I, I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. You know, I'm the active wrestler here. You're the, you're the part-time, okay? Oh, I'm the part-time. So, what, with that being said, do you have a plan? Do you have a team? Because as far as I know, nothing's been mentioned. You sure as hell ain't telling me nothing. Why, what, so I can't rely on you to be on the team? Huh? I have to I have to reach out and ask you now whether or not you're gonna be on the team. Well you expect a handwritten invitation? Huh? Hell brother, I, I have no idea. Like I said, you I assumed I could depend on you. I mean, yes, I asked Draven. Yes, I asked the Bristol Lion. Yes, you know, I I've, I've been asking people, but I assumed I wouldn't have to ask you. So so you put guys together before even even considering talking to me. See this is exactly why I didn't talk to you. You know, for the last year or so, anytime something happens, there you are saying, oh, no, 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 don't worry about that. You can't get hurt. You're too hurt to do anything, blah, 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 blah. So I trusted you. And you know what I did? I let myself get complacent. And I turned my back on Tyson Creed. And I paid for it. I almost paid with my career. And that's not happening. You're not going to stop me. So you're saying this is all my fault that you got hurt. No, man. I'm not saying it's your fault. What I'm saying is, is that you can't protect me anymore. Sooner or later, this is going to come to a head. Now, November 2nd, Robert Wright's ass belongs to me. I don't care what you do with the rest of the wolves. He belongs to me. Okay, but here's the thing. 
Again, that tunnel vision, dude. You can't be thinking one thing and going straight for it because you know what? You know how they are. They're going to be lying and waiting. And what's going to happen then? What's going to happen if we all get caught up? What happens to SSW? SSW is going to be fine. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They're about to run into something they don't know how to handle. Because I'm bringing it. So if I was you, I'd get yourself ready. No superhero costumes. No bullshit. You, Valentine, grab whoever the hell you want. November 2nd. It's going down. And whether you show up or you don't, understand this. I got something special for Creed and his boys. And they won't win. So it's just like that you're going to walk away? Yep. Yeah. <sighs>